Yasmin, you have to remind me about time, okay? Because I'm very bad. You got five minutes. Okay. So, uh, so, so uh, uh, apparently, I'm just gonna talk really about the symbols and colors for you. I'm not gonna get into the flags, but I'm just try to uh, move in into 1920 because that's the basis of all the Arabic flags, almost. So when did the Arab flag uh, was born? So the Arab flag really was born, the, the new Arab flag, which is associated with the new Arab identity, it was born really in the, when there was a revival of Arab uh, 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 identity in, within the Ottoman uh, Turkey. So there were a lot of Arab officers, Arab scholars, uh, there was Asr al-Nahda, there was a renaissance that was born from Egypt and, and other parts of the Arabic world. And there was kind of a, a revival of uh, the Arab identity, because you know the Arab identity was covered by the Islamic identity for centuries. Mm -hmm. And when Islam has really moved away from uh, uniting everyone together mm -hmm. and it became more and more Turkish, then the, the Arabs started to wake up to their identity again. So uh, there were efforts in Istanbul by the Arab to create like an Arabic uh, group that revives Arabic literature and writing. Uh, and uh, it was named Al-Muntada, Al-Muntada Al-Arabi. And it was in Istanbul. And I'm talking about the late 19th century, um, which later became, after the Arab Revolution, became an Nadi Al-Arabi. And it, it had, uh, uh, chapters and all over the so they go back to the po the poem by Safi al-Din al-Hilli Safi al-Din al-Hilli uh, is an Iraqi poet between 20, 20, 1277 and 1339 there was a big battle you know when the Maghul uh, what's the English name for the Maghul the Maghulians, the Mongols Mongols. when the Mongols attacked the Islamic world and uh, Baghdad fell down and they kept occupying areas. There were some resistance in some areas. There were a lot of resistance fi Barr al-Sham, in the desert of al-Sham, what's today Jordan and South Syria and parts of Palestine, by big tribes. On top of them, Qabila <coughs> Tayyip, the tribe of Tayyip. And they won the Maghuls. It was an epic battle, and they won the, this army that has not been defeated. Uh, and Safi al-Din Hali wrote a poem um, taking pride in the Arab tribe uh, won over the Maghul. And in that poem, he says that, إِنَّا لَقَوْمٌ أَبَتْ أَخْلَاقُنَا شَرَفًا أَنْ نَبْتَدِي بِالْأَذَى مَنْ لَيْسَ يُؤْدِينَا بِيضٌ صَنَائِعُنَا سُودٌ وَقَائِعُنَا قُدْرٌ مَرَابِعُنَا حُمْرٌ مَوَاضِينَا Ask the high rising spears of our aspirations, bring witness the swords, did we lose hope? We are a band, honor halts our souls of beginning with harm those who won't harm us. White are our deeds, black are our battles, green are our fields, red are our swords. Hence the, uh, hence the, the colors were born. So Fil Muntada Fil Adabi they created that flag based on the poem of Safi Din al Hilli to represent the Arab, these four things as in the order that he mentioned them in the poem. Later on, the first nationalistic movement of Arabs was born in 1908, Jamiyat al-Arabiya al-Fatah, and they adopted the same flag, uh, but they put the red on the sides, and they actually wrote that line of the poem, and the kind Bayt al-Sha'r fil alam <clears throat> that was in 1908-1909. That was before, that was under the Ottoman Empire. And this was a secret nationalist Arab movement. If they're discovered, they'll be hanged, like what happened later on. And that's why we have Sahat al-Shuhada in Lebanon. We have the field of uh, martyrs in Lebanon and downtown. That's where they hanged the Turks. They hanged all the nationalist Arabs when they discovered uh, their letters and the... Uh, French embassy. And this was later on adopted in Paris, um, and there was the first Arab Congress in Paris, 1913. And in 1914, that's the beginning of the Arab Revolution, they adopted the same colors 
but they put the red in a in an attack position because it symbolizes revolution. So this became the Arab flag. This is officially the first Arab flag. Mm -hmm. Historically, this is the first Arab flag, 1914, the flag of the revolution. This was carried by the soldiers in 1914. This is one of the flags of the battle, which was later led by Malik Faisal. These we are Malik Faisal. Exactly, in Amman. Al yeah. Yes. Al-Aqaba was the, the command center for yeah, the Arab Revolution. Yeah, it's very high mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. that one So uh, later on, I'm going to f- finish there, but there's an evolution. All the Arab flags, they come back to that. All colonialism tried to push away from these flags. So this, for example, was the Syrian flag symbolizing the first kingdom because they wanted all the Arabs together. But they, you know, they started with Bilad al-Sham, Surya al-Kubra. When I say Surya at that time, this means Surya, Palestine, uh, Jordan, and Lebanon. Mm. And this was the flag for it, uh, with seven stars, symbolizing the seven verses of Al-Fatiha. Um, and it's, uh, Jordan just reorganized the colors, just because technically the white has to be in the middle to, 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 in order for the contrast to work. Uh, and for other, you know, some claim other reasons. Uh, and still, this is still the, the Jordan flag till today. Um, this is when uh, when Iraq and Jordan united, they adopted the same flag. <coughs> when uh, el- Iraq became uh, a kingdom, they put two stars, means one for Syria, one for Iraq. So when the French mandate, for example, came to uh, to Syria, they took away the Arab flag, they put this one. That Arab flag, for example, was risen in Beirut for nine days before the French went crazy. They said, we had Cyclist Pico agreement, we've divided these countries among Britain and France, we're not gonna let anyone put any flag except what we decide. And this was the flag they decided. They said, this is the flag of Syria. So France had flags for every colony, and their, and their flag is in the corner of each of these flags. But you notice they didn't, you know, they move away from that uh, symbols. Then they divided Syria, of course, divide and conquer. They divided Syria into smaller kingdoms, each with its own flag. And you see, they moved away. They used blue, something that the Arabs did not use at all, to move away from any nationalistic uh, approach. I'm going to stop at this point. It's a very long presentation, how the, the Arab flags evolved and came about. Some of our flags are prohibited. In some countries, like the Palestinian flag is prohibited in, the, in Israel, till today by law, but they became lenient after Oslo on it. Uh, some of the flags of, after the Arab Spring, you'll see a lot of symbolism going back to what flag they're going back to. You can tell about the movement from what flag they're adopting for the revolution. They'll, they'll just, you know, you'll know the whole thing by that choice. So anyway, I hope I uh, stirred your curiosity to read more and know more about, uh, about why do we have the flag that we have uh, and what symbols do, uh, does, uh, does it carry. Thank you.